Hey guys, welcome back to Habit Gaming. We're back in No Man's Sky, and today we're working on building a hyperdrive and trying to get the hell out of this zone, finally. Hopefully by the end of this episode we will finally leave the initial star, uh, star system, and dear god the textures aren't loading in, what the hell. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a little bit jarring when you're used to playing this game was with a certain appearance and then all of a sudden things just aren't there. Alright, so do I have anything starship inventory? We'll get rid of that. Let's see. I know we had some stuff that should be worth a decent chunk. Yeah, and I know these things won't be worth as much because they're not in their home systems, but... Mm -hmm. I need 95,000, damn. You know I don't really need that. There we go. Buy five microprocessors, because... Why not? Refined chromatic metal. How much of that do I need? <laughs> Space trucker. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Come on, let's go. What do you have? Come on, scanner. Why am I doing it the hard way? Come on, pulse drive, pulse drive, come on. Gold nugget. We ought to be able to make at least a little bit of money off of that. You know, I'm just curious. I wonder how terrifying it would be if around every planet there was actually an asteroid field like those. Because I know we do have, you know, a fair amount of junk. But for some reason, I really don't think we have, like, and I may be underestimating the amount of junk we've put in orbit. But I find it hard to think we would have that much just random BS. What are you? Oh. I think I found an oxygen farm. Well, not really an oxygen farm, but place where I can shoot a lot of things. Nope. Solar vines. Okay. I need a copper point. Somewhere around here has to have copper. There's one. It's not all that far away. Come on, land this damn thing. Alright. And we're not in the middle of a storm, so we should be good there. This needs to be charged.
Come on. Tell you what, sometimes the mining in this game does get a little tedious. Other times it's just a blast because, I mean, how many places are you actually going to have where, or how many games are you actually going to have where you can just you know, start randomly destroying large amounts of the surrounding landscape? Come on. You know, barring thing, barring like God games. That was still copper there. There, I'm getting silicate powder. I'm not seeing any more copper in this one. Okay, so I might have dug a little deep there. <laughs> Is that? That one's copper there as well. Alright then. Ouch. Remember the game has fall damage. Alright, and I seem to remember for some reason. Yeah, for some reason it seems like you could change the size of your mining implement here, and I'm not seeing the option to actually do that, so heck with it. And it now says I have enough copper, but... There's also still chunks here, so... I don't know, this is... This is actually a really relaxing game. It has its moments where it's just absolutely infuriating. You'll be on a planet somewhere and you'll need this one item and it just does not appear on that planet. For whatever reason. Or if it does, it's very little and there's long distances to go between instances where you actually get it. Come on, more copper. Oh, hey. Don't want to leave you hanging. Come on. Alright, that ought to be enough. I mean, that's my entire weapon charge, so... Where did I park? That way. Oh, hey, I'm all the way down there. How the hell did I get all the way down there? Yeah, I know, it might seem like the faster way down, but let's not try to fall down the mountain. At least not entirely. Pardon, at least not entirely. Oh, 
We'll let our environmental protection just charge back up a little bit, jump out, throw the refiner down, and go from there. And hey, No Man's Sky update is downloaded now. That's what I get for being impatient when I start the PlayStation. Alright, and I need crumb. Or no, I need copper. Well, you're doing your thing. I'll mine some of these just so that way I have what I need. These things get a lot of carbon. Okay, so they finally did away with that little exploit. Once upon a time, every as your mining laser heated up, the little bar in the top right, if you let off of it and then immediately hit the trigger again, it would instantly cool all the way down. And it wasn't a big deal, like your mining laser never takes long to cool off. It was just if you were really trying to hurry, or you know, were for whatever reason trying to just burn through a zone, or you know, deforest, it, deforest an entire planet maybe, it was a very quick way to do it. So for now, while well, we've got the chromatic metal back there doing its thing. Okay. So are you done refining? Or... Come on, I don't want to leave things injured out here. I'm not even sure what the heck is going on there. Alright. That should be more than enough. Come on, pick up. For some reason I always think Sprint is going to be L2. Come on, no, there you go. Chromatic metal, microprocessors, needs fuel. Uh, antimatter based fuel, high capacity antimatter based fuel. Antimatter housing. Okay. Good. Objective complete. Now what's my next one? Okay, there we go. Auto diagnostics report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Fuel status empty. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars, but without warp cells I'll be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. I have antimatter. Planetary scan from orbit. Oh, you're just going to be a pain in my ass. I wonder how long it would take to get to the next star with just the pulse engine. Okay. We'll go there, apparently, and it's about a minute away. Wonderful. So I'd really like to get some people's thoughts on No Man's Sky. I mean, for me, it's it's a relaxing game to play. I I do enjoy it. Once we get the once we get this hyperdrive and we manage to get to other star systems, find a few different types of worlds, 
upgrade the hyperdrive a few times. Like the thing I'm looking for is a garden world, and they're they're rare in the early stages because you can't go to the stars that really have a good chance of providing you with a garden. As you upgrade everything, you get better and better chances, but garden worlds still aren't exactly common, I guess. Yeah, I know Pulse is unavailable, so we'll just use Booster. I'm pretty sure also if we sort if we came in under like full engine power into an atmosphere it'd tear the ship to pieces, but you know, that could just be too long playing Kerbal Space Program. Oh god. Those things. Yeah, look, those are bad. Bad, bad, bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're worth a lot of money. But still. It's one of those things like. I don't want to deal with what causes those. Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting, success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It, it deposits a sample of antimatter accompanied by a strange, me a strange message. Well, give me the antimatter. You will find us when the time is right. 16. Over and over and over and over. Ferret dust. Of course, the thing I got rid of. Sodium nitrate. Got it. Nothing found. I don't need to gather fat or right, dust, I don't think. I have the stuff that makes it. Wait. No, does the rusted bits, do they turn into pure fa Wait, no, I destroyed all those. Damn it. Why did I do such a thing? What do you have? More projectile ammunition, because that's what I need. God, just how many of those things are around here? So we'll send you to the ship. Yeah, I don't have that. Condensed carbon. More condensed carbon. Okay, so it is those. I was making sure it wasn't the creatures. Because those damn things are absolutely terrifying. Wait, no, I can mine ferrite dust from here. But get up on top of the ship. Sorry, if you can't tell, I really don't want to deal with those little things. They're just, they're extremely fast, very hostile, and I will, like, 
show what they look like before I take off. In case anybody out there hasn't run into them. Alright. What do we have? You can go to the ship. Better. Is that identified? Does it need to be identified? No, it does not. Alright. How much more of it do we need? Alright, so I have enough now. Oh, hey. I forgot I had you. Antimatter housing. Nope. Go away. Nope. That's enough for one more. Because in all honesty, that'll let us condense down and get rid of that antimatter in our inventory, open up a free slot. How much of it do I have now? 71. <coughs> Do I have anything here I don't mind getting rid of? Sure. Antimatter housing. There we go. Go ahead and hit you with that. Okay, and I used both of them. Now before I make this jump, That's what you get here. And they're not friendly. And they are very powerful. Whispering eggs are lo worth a lot of money though, if you can get them. I didn't want to do that. Come on. Alright. Now what's our next goal? Galaxy map offers wealth of information about nearby planetary systems. Blah, blah, blah. Good for it. I'm not so worried about nearby systems as I am just wanting to go to a different system. What do we have here? Sure. And away we go. Now it is another Corvac system still. So we won't have too many... Wait. And that just kind of affects trade value in a small way, now that I think about it. Uh, means things like Gek, uh, Gek artifacts, the Viking daggers, or anything that belongs to another massive amount. But... Alright. Viridescent planet. How many planets are in this system? I came in right near you. Copper, gold, and magnetized ferrite. Signal amplified, source coordinates locked. Okay, cool. I will head that way in a minute. 
glacial planet. So we have frost crystals, copper, dioxide, and magnetized ferrite. Seems like everywhere has magnetized ferrite nowadays. What are you? Okay, so I'm too far away to scan it. A contaminated planet. So we have gamma root, copper, uranium. That'll be useful again. While we're here, though, we need tritium because I used the last of it to fuel the pulse drive. I do have free stocks. Oh, wait, no, I can do this. And I can't do that. Got it. Damn it. You go to the exosuit. Because I'm getting like gold nuggets and big pieces of silver. I want to be able to actually use it. Alright, that should be enough of pretty much all of that for now. It never hurts to grab a little extra. So I do want to go to this one, just to check out the signal source. Um, I think I remember what this takes us on, but I may be wrong. The other one I want to check out is the iridescent planet. I don't remember what actual wording they used. Oh, yeah, trade port. Sure, I'll take either one of them. Swarm subsiding. Fuck swarm. Alright, first contact. I'm first contact since these things have probably interacted with travelers before. Likelihood of Traveler Anomaly now beyond two standard deviations. Suggest further aid. Blueprint offered. Unlike the other life forms I've met so far, this one speaks in a language I understand. And yet I ne cannot comprehend their meaning. They speak as if they do not know what they are saying, as if their mind is not their own. The alien offers me a blueprint. A means to construct my own antimatter. Take the antimatter blueprint. Whoever is leaving this trail has some design, but what it is I cannot fathom. There's nothing to do but follow. I have what I need to do that. Alright. Hmm. Health. Alright, so condensed carbon, a decent amount of condensed carbon and some sodium. I say a decent amount when you know. It, it would have. Sorry, it would have been a decent amount at one point in time. Okay, fine. Damn you and your atmospheric interference. Alright, warp to another system. You know what? No, not yet. First, I want to... What the hell is that? Unknown moon. Let's see what kind of what kind of environment it has. A gamma intensive moon. Gotcha. Iridescent planet. That's the one I wanted to see. This looks like it could be a lot of fun.
I could also be completely wrong about it, so bear with me for a moment. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Planetary interference, blah, blah, blah. What do we have here? There's something going on just as soon as we enter atmosphere. I like this world. Blissful weather, I s Okay. What is this? Poem of Matter. How do you compare to what I have already? You are... Not bad. Let me see what all I have. Don't think I have enough to make... Yeah, you know what, we're gonna break that down. Let me see what I can make here. Because that little thing might not be that bad. It's not a great one, but it is a solid step up. Yeah, it's not enough. Alright. Terminal online. Universal language database. Okay. Life form dictionary available. Learn a word. Corvax word for traveler. Cool. Now what do you have for me? Technology merchant. Alright, what do you have blueprint wise? That standard Starship communication signals to enable transport of matter as well as data. Starship fitted can send and receive products and substances to a user's exosuit over long distance. Personal force field, advanced mining laser. That's the one I needed. Give me purchase components. Mm, I'm not seeing anything here that I want to spend a bunch of money on. Glass isn't a bad price here, though. Alright. Yeah, look, I know it's telling us to go ahead and leave, but... I'm honestly kind of feeling this one a little bit. An oxygen capsule. More sodium nitrate. <clears throat> I think this is where we're going to settle down for a little while. Do some building. But not right here. Ouch. That hurt a little bit right there, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm seeing this place look very much like something I want to use. Where do I want to put this? Massive tongue. Where did you go? Is 
Okay, so we got us some wildlife out here. There's one. Come on, where are you? Okay. You know what? We'll let them go for now. Because I know at some point you get, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like sea travel? Like submersibles and things like that. Seems like it would be a good time for you to use those. Now, where did I put my damn computer? No, I already have one. There it is. Oh, it's over next to our friend. Sure. Come here, little guy. I like those little guys. They're they're very odd looking. As long as they don't start attacking me, we should be fine. And this is where we will make our home. I really like the way this area looks. This and the planet, like the the colors. You know, the fact that it's a breathable atmosphere helps, too. Don't get me wrong. Come on. Up on the edge of it, at least. Scan the plant. Alright, so for now, let's see what we've got here. wooden floor I'm seeing like Oceanside Shack when I look at this place And I, I say shack. Alright. And from here we'll go wall. Wall. I'm going to have to do a little removing on these things. And power up our terrain manipulator. Switch. Nope. What is it to change shape? You know what? Just bore out that. Oh, 
Nope. And then from there, we'll change shape and size. Soften this a little bit. All right, I hear you. Oh, dang it, I stopped too early. Come on. There you go. Star bulbs, not bad. Come on now. I don't really know yet where I will use um, star bombs, but I, or star bulbs, my bad. carbon. I'm trying to gather carbon right now. I guess I should pay more attention to that. There we go there. What was that? Carbon and what? Is that magic? Nope, there we go. Come on now. More star bulbs. Star bulbs don't seem to be very rare here. I don't know, maybe it's just because of the name. I expected them to be a major rarity. May also just show how much this game, how deep into this game I haven't gone. I don't know. Where is my building? I have a refiner already, so I don't have to buy this. Nope. Uh, signal booster, I don't have at the moment. I don't have that. Carbon? I 
And what was it needed for the roof? Ferrite dust. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. Impulse beans? What the hell is an impulse bean? That one's a new one on me. Okay. Okay, so is this thing hostile? Does not fear death. <laughs> okay, I will keep that in mind. Oh, wait. Alright, what can I send back to the ship right now? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, star bulbs. Duh. The things that I sent away from the ship. So we'll build up some ferrite dust. Probably don't have enough carbon in it now. But I do have something I think I can do on that one. I can break down my condensed carbon. Maybe. What are you? Oh, you're a whip. Okay. It would have been really nice if I had seen that beforehand. It almost went right over there. I already have some right on, on me. I have dihydrogen crystals here. Oh, that's got star bulbs as well. Come on, I need more carbon. I want to at least get this little house thing I got working here built. Do I have the data to do this? Uh, structures. BS, am I, am I too far away from the ship? Salvage data. Okay. Wait. I don't have the glass to do that at the moment. Glass isn't much at the little place, but for right now. Let's go ahead and close that wall. That wall. And that wall. And we have our first little actual house. Now for power, I need metal plating. Can you come in here? You, oh, you're that one. Oh, 
but it's I didn't want to do like the the one little one square building but I wanted to at least have a house that we could put a few upgrades in and things like that and I hope everybody's enjoying No Man's Sky I think I'm gonna leave this episode here if there's anything in particular you would like to see in No Man's Sky please drop a comment and let me know other than that I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video and as